you all? Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back. Uh, my name is Jacqueline McElroy and today I'm going to be reviewing a book I just recently finished called Part of Your World. This book was recommended by a good friend of mine and my book bestie. Her name is Brenna. Um, she recommended this to me. She says she gave this a five out of five. She said this was her favorite, one of her favorite romances for this year and that she just loved it. That's how I knew I had to pick up this book. If you checked out our book challenge video, um, this is one of the books that I grabbed when my husband let me go through the bookstore, Books A Million, and pick as many books as I could. So let's get to this. For the first part that I'm going to rate is the book cover. So I'm going to let y'all see it a bit. So this is a cutesy romance, if you can tell. Um, I actually like this cover. I would give this a four for a book cover. Reason being is, yes, it is kind of animated looking and I'm not a big fan of your animated books. Sometimes they look like, are they gonna be cheesy? Are they gonna be corny? Are they, are they good or not? But what I do like is how it basically, just looking at the cover, you can already tell what this book is gonna be about. You see a, a woman who's in the city and you see a guy who's in the country. So, and it's called Part of Your World. So it's basically, you can already tell that it's about two people whose worlds are entirely different and they try to make it fit. Next up I have is the plot. So I don't wanna give really any spoilers. This is basically, I like the plot. I will give the plot a five. I'll start off with that. I'll give the plot a five because it's about two people who are from two entirely different worlds. You have somebody who's wealthy and somebody who, you know, I don't wanna say poor, but you know, lower on the income side and they happen to meet. And you can call it fate, you can call it whatever you want, a coincidence. You have to read it to find out how do they make it work. And let me tell you, there was a couple parts, especially towards the end, where I was like, Oh my gosh, like I even had to tell Nation, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, I gotta finish this section real quick. This this just got real good, real good. On top of that, it's just a great, cute romance. It's not too cringy, it's not too extra, it's literally like a warm cup of tea, just cozy. So anyways, plots, good, five out of five. Next, I would say the writing style. The writing style is very easy. You can, like I said, you can fly through it. The pages aren't too long. You see, too, not too long. They're pretty spaced out pretty good. So you can kind of fly through this. So writing style, I give the writing style since it was fun and easy. Um, I give that a 4.5, 4.5. The fourth thing I would be rating this book on is character development. I will have to say that the character development was great. So I will give character development a 4.5. Reason being is because the author really allows you to almost be there, understanding their journey and how they feel and their emotions, like being a fly on the wall. The last um, thing I'll write it on is the trope. Everybody likes a good trope. Everybody loves a trope. And now that I think about it, what kind of trope would I say this is? Because I'm gonna say it's either friends to lovers or, or forbidden love. Basically how their love story or their story unfolded I would give it a 5 out of 5. And overall, this book, I will rate a 5 out of 5. Go pick this up. It's only like $15.99. Around that, about $16, probably plus the tax. Unless you live in Montana, it's tax-free. Ohio ain't tax-free. For some reason, they want to just, they keep taxing our money. Like I said, 5 out of 5 review, y'all. 5 out of 5. This is a good pick. If you listened this far or you watched this far, thank you. I hope you were convinced to go pick up part of your world and I hope you like it. If you grab it, let me know in the comments. If you read it, let me know in the comments and what you think about it. And we can maybe have a whole conversation and discussion about the book and things that we liked about it and things that we may not have liked about it. That is it. I'm going to wrap up this video now because it's a bit longer than I thought. Um, I hope you guys have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next video.